In this lecture, we are going to talk about what is affiliate marketing. So basically, affiliate marketing is a marketing arrangement by which an online retailer pays commission to an external website for traffic or sales generated from its referrals. So this is called affiliate marketing. So there are two options. If you want to start your online business, you can have your own digital products or you can advertise others digital products and it is called affiliate marketing. I'm a huge fan of creating my own digital products, for example, courses or eBooks, and then you can advertise these products on your own or you can upload these products to e-learning platforms. For example, udemy.com is a platform like this. You can upload your own digital products and you can make money instantly. So this is my personal favorite because Udemy is going to do everything for you. Udemy is going to advertise your products. It is going to handle the payments. So basically it is very, very convenient. Of course, there are other options if you have your own digital products. You can use Skillshare.com. Again, there are lots of lots of online courses. So if you have your own digital product, such as an online course, then you can upload these courses to Skillshare.com and you can make money instantly. So this is why it is so convenient, because if you do not want to use Facebook advertisements or Google AdWords, for example, then you just have to upload your products to these websites, Skillshare.com or Udemy.com, and they are going to handle the marketing related issues, which is quite convenient for you. You just have to upload the courses and basically that's all. So this is the case when you have your own digital products. Of course, affiliate marketing has something to do with advertising others' digital products. Of course, you can use physical products as well, but digital products are my personal favorite because you don't have to deal with shipping and handling and so on. So it is much more convenient to deal with digital products. And after every sale you generate, you get 10% up to 50% commission fees. You just have to drive traffic to the given product, which means that the most difficult problem as far as affiliate marketing is concerned is how to drive traffic to the given product you would like to sell. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the affiliate marketing ecosystem. There are four players, the retailer, the affiliate network, the affiliate itself, and the client. The retailer is the owner of the product who is willing to pay commission fees to online marketers. This is why affiliate networks came to be such as Rakuten Marketing or ClickBank or JVZ or something like this. These are affiliate networks, a trusted third party that makes sure the affiliates get the commission fees. So the affiliate network is going to make sure that these 10% up to 50% commission fees will be sent to the affiliate. And that's why the affiliate is going to join this affiliate network. So the affiliate is an online marketing expert who is willing to promote others product, in this case, the product of the retailer, for commission fees and the affiliate links or the banners are provided by the affiliate network itself. So this is why the retailer is going to join the affiliate network and the affiliate or the publisher will join the affiliate network as well. The retailer is going to publish the given product and the affiliate will contact the affiliate network to get the affiliate link for that given product he or she wants to advertise. And if the client buys a given product through an affiliate link, it means that the publisher or the affiliate gets some commission fees. It may be 10%, but it may be 50% as well. Okay, so basically that's all about the affiliate marketing ecosystem. The affiliate network is a trusted third party. I'm not sure whether you have heard a new technology called blockchain. With the help of blockchain, there is no need for the affiliate network. Why do we need affiliate network? Because the retailer doesn't trust the affiliate and the affiliate doesn't 
Trustel retailer. Both of them trust a trusted third party such as Rakuten Marketing and Clickbank and these affiliate networks make sure that the commissions are going to be sent to the affiliate and to the retailer as well. Okay, a good question is how to promote the given product exactly. From now on, we are going to talk about how to promote others' product as an affiliate. So somehow we have to make sure that the clients will buy the product of the retailer through our affiliate link. And there are four important techniques. First of all, we can use forums such as Quora or Stack Overflow. So in this case, no website needed. The second technique is to have your own website and we can do content marketing. Then we can use email marketing with MailChimp and Oweber. This is by far the most successful affiliate marketing approach. So that's why this is my personal favorite as well. And then we can use paid traffic such as Facebook advertisements and we can use lead pages. Leadpages.net is an online application with which we can create fancy sales pages. And with the help of sales pages and automated emails plus paid traffic from Facebook, we can promote others product for a given commission fee. The most successful affiliate marketers uses this technique. So lead pages, automated emails and paid traffic from Facebook. This is how you can make lots of lots of money online. In the next lectures, we are going to talk about these strategies one by one. Thanks for watching.